Hey everybody, Hidden Object Guru here, back with more Queen's Quest 2, Stories of the Forgotten Past. Uh, this one, less of a Queen's Quest, you're playing as an alchemist, and the Queen is uh, a supervillain out to destroy the kingdom and uh, kill the king, kill Snow White, take over. So, and she really had no involvement in the story, come to think of it, until she turned out to be evil, so... I mean, you were not going on a quest for the queen, and you're not a queen going on a quest. So, title-wise, point is we're playing the bonus chapter now. Dear Alchemist, it has been almost a year since you saved my children. Oh, more from Hansel and Gretel's dad. I am afraid misfortune strikes again. My daughter, Gretel, has been missing for days. You are the only one... You know, you don't have to move the hands in that scene. Like, it's fine that I was just holding a piece of paper in my hands. When I hold a piece of paper in my hands in, in real life, my hands aren't constantly moving up and down. You know what? I'm probably obsessing over this too much. Let's move on. To... Oh, we're not doing a minigame this time. This isn't a complaint, really. But in the second half of the game, or at least the last uh, third of the game, we didn't really do any transforming. So that was a little sad. I was afraid to hope that you'd come. My Gretel has been missing. We don't know where she could be. If anyone can find her, it's you. Hansel and their new friend Ivy were with her when she disappeared. Uh-oh. Who's this Ivy character? All right, let's do it. Uh, okay, do I need that medallion of a lion's head? I don't seem to. Oh, I'm gonna dig up plants. No? Oh, I digged up a plant. Really? I can't dig up the green onions? It's weird, right? You know, let's pick up some other items, then I'll come back to that. What would I do with an ice pick? Uh, is there a cork? Yes! Apple, I've got, oh, some water. That's actually pretty cute. Uh, so many apples and pears around, gotcha. Okay. Uh, no, one more pear. And then we should be done. Yep. Uh, do we see a toad anywhere? We need three toads. Wow. One of them was a picture of a toad. The other ones aren't. All right, uh, I got that flower finally. So now I need another radish. I can just pick up the leeks. I thought I had to dig them out, but I was completely wrong. All right, uh, where's that last radish? There it is. And no, so those were green onions, which are chives. Leeks are these ones. I have trouble telling them apart. So what I'm saying is, uh, never ask me to go and buy you vegetables. It's not going to go well. My sister is gone. We were playing hide-and-seek in the forest, and we couldn't find her. Do you think the witch is back? I hope not. Yeah, I... Can you bring Gretel, baby? It was a creepy voice you got there, Ivy. My sister is gone. All right, let's go check out the forest. Hopefully I kept the map. Okay, I got some kind of a thing for turning things, and I got a... I don't know what that is. It is a net pole. Oh, okay. So I also need the net head. Uh, I believe this goes here. Totally wrong. But I did get the trowel and the sickle, so if there are any more thorns, which happened a lot in this game, like three different screens of thorns, four different screens of thorns, at least, uh, I should be fine. Oh no, someone let all the... Uh... Well, most of the fireflies out. All right, I've got a pitchfork. Nice. Well, is that one of... Oh, it's those kinds of crystals, I see. All right, well, we're going to find them. I'm good at that. Finding crystals, I mean. Wire brush. Yes. Corkscrew. Yes. Feather. Yes. Sickle. Apple. I uh, don't see a sickle. Oh, I can move that. Uh, goblet. Now let's go to sickle apple. Oh, there's the apple. Mm, sickle. 
Oh, we're assembling shears again? It's weird. Uh, let's use the rake to... No, they really don't want me using rakes to move leaves, even though that's what rakes are for. Or arranging sand, technically. I mean, you can't use them to arrange sand. Uh, okay. Boots, pipe, axe. Oh, there's the clock. Well, there's the axe. Anybody see a pipe? Oh, right, the shears. <laughs> that is... Uh, now, okay, I got a little foiled when it turned out uh, brooch has been spelled brooch my entire life. But that is definitely not how you spell shears, I just want to say. Like, 100%, I'm right about this one, right? Shears, you spell with an E-A? Because that shear is in, you know, uh, transparent. Hence, transparent audacity. Sheer audacity. Huh. Is that a sickle? No, that's some kind of a hook nonsense. Wow. Alright, focus up, Hoguru. And I need a sickle, boots, and a pipe. And it's weird that I can't find any of them. This might be the hardest time I've had in this entire game at finding a uh, hidden object. Pipe! Come on, boots. It's not a drawing of boots, is it? No, oh, god, they're in the background. Alright, sickle! Sickle, sickle, sickle. Well, you know what I should have done was checked which items turned blue, uh, turned from blue to white when I opened that thing. That would have told me where it was. Um, hmm. I'm just not seeing this sickle. I can work towards the end of this game, and I have to review and get the, uh, video up tomorrow, so... Oh, there it is. It was completely rusted. That's why I wasn't able to tell. That's my little defense. I was about to, uh, you know, skip that, but I didn't have to. Boop. Oh, it's a cabinet handle. Oh, well, actually, I wish I'd known that. I will use the pitchfork to grab that out. Oh, come on, that was a good idea. I should probably use the net, shouldn't I? I have to find the net. Oh, there's stuff to do everywhere. I was not attentive. So I guess that's the grave of the mother? It's gotta be, right? Um, what's going on here? I have a trowel. Will that help? Those kids love to stare at me. I got a heart key, which is good. I don't know if that's good. What I'm saying is I have no idea what the heart key is for. Uh, what's going on here? Oh, it's the kitten I pissed off earlier. I will go find you something to eat. Hopefully not a mouse like in the last uh, Queen's Quest game. Boop! Oh, something to get with the nest. Net. Yeah, I'm not good at words. Alright, what is that anyway? It is a grave centerpiece. Wow. What's so serious about being a centerpiece? Waka waka! No? No, I should not have attempted that joke. Didn't help anything. Awesome. Is that what the heart key goes in? I'm gonna be pretty sure it does. And it is... A gemstone. Stone. Alright. Uh, purple crystal. Purple crystal. Did I need a crystal somewhere? Like, am I... Am I forgetting something I already found? No, I need a net. The stuff to do here, there, and inside the house. Right, let's check inside the house. I never opened that door. Ugh. That is a cabinet. Ugh. Fine. Oh, that's probably the thing that's stuck in the, uh... Disgusting water, right? Different students seen on the table alone represent the mirror. Okay, so it's collection of acceptance. Okay, so do I click on the table or on the Ah, okay. Okay, that's got a design in it, that has burns on it. The croissant seems fine. There's a spoon, there's a sprig of nonsense, there's a no that's correct. Alright, two more. We can do this. 
Uh, coffee stain. Hmm. Okay, I like how they're going back forever. That's actually a very nice device. Okay, the bacon's fine. Toast is fine. The utensils are not fine. Ah! I don't know what that is, but it's missing. And inside was fish for the kitten! What? A really, really tiny fish for the kitten. Like, because it was the size of the chocolate chip cookie that was next to it. I mean, I did catch you in a net, so it does kind of make sense that you don't like me. Yes! A puzzle solution. If only I had a puzzle to check on. Date sequence. Oh, I bet I have to turn that into... Yeah, three, four. Okay. That's kind of neat. Uh, okay. Check the Wicked Forest again. So I can't do anything there yet. Aha! And I didn't even need to sharpen the sickle to do it. This game loves having me break brambles, doesn't it? Alright, I need two more, and I know where one of them is. So that's a third of the way there, and potentially two-thirds of the way there soon. Yeah, I don't see it. Um, there was a hammer. I think that's definitely the uh, the handle for the drawer. What can I do with a hammer? Oh, sweet house. You're making me think of beloved game, Sweet Home. Okay. Oh, there's still more to do here? Well, then we haven't done anything here, so... Is that the... That's the drawer handle. Okay, I don't know what that... That's probably the thing for the witch's drawer, dummy. Yeah, probably. Head for the net, please? Nope. It's... A mosaic piece? It's a, just a piece of curved stone and some bolts for the handle to the witch's door. Yay! And I've got the hammer to affix it. Oh, affix it. Such a good word. Still no hidden object puzzle. So there's got to be a netting around here. I really thought that was a mythological creature up there, but I was obviously wrong. Okay. I could just use the pole to take it out. I thought I had to transform it into a net first. But that's what I have to do to get the water out of the... the crystal out of the water. Not to get this out of here. See, that's good animation. Also, it suggests the alchemist is quite strong, which this place is a nice quality abandoned. to see. Well, yeah. I beat the F out of that witch. Why wouldn't it be abandoned? So many magic crystals. I'm loving them. Alright, two more magic crystals. Oh, hey buddy. Do you want to fly out of there and let me have the magic crystals that's hiding behind you? No? And see, this is the one kind of... I'm not saying it's massively unfair, but you just have to click everywhere. It's not telling you what you're looking for. Although I guess it's not that unfair. I mean, I don't complain about it in alchemy-themed games when they make me look for her herbs in the exact same way, do I? Oh, I remember this. I've never liked these puzzles, because they're so finicky to control. Oh my god, it's like spinning plates. Yay, I've got... That piece of fern. Essence leaves is apparently what they're called. Okay. It'd be great if I did some more alchemy. Uh, okay. Wire brush first. Oh, yay! The cabinet I needed the lock to. The key to. Cool. Uh, there's some kind of a gear or key. No, it's just a gear. And behind there is... What? Flight potion! Oh, cool. Why why do I need a flight potion? There's the netting at long last love. And then he walked too far as he is going to do. 
Okay. Perfect. I do know the code. It's right there. Oh, I have to... Boop. Come on. Yay! Three, four, five! That was... Three, four, six! That is not a difficult puzzle to remember. Uh-oh. Footprints on the ground? But what would they be doing there, as opposed to in the sky? Uh, here you go. Curved stone. Did not see that coming. Alright, I got a caterpillar. Which is one of my favorite kinds of pillar, or at least top five. Who the hell are you? Hello there. We are oh, Ivy's parents. That actually makes a lot of sense. No, we haven't seen Gretel. It's really terrible what happens. We searched for her, but no luck. I would appreciate it if you didn't go inside. It is quite a mess. Well, as a hidden object person, it's kind of my thing to go inside where I'm not wanted and clean up messes. That's just what I do. But I will be nice enough to uh, pretend to obey your instructions. Be a powerful surge in magic for the taking. But they have to sacrifice Gretel to do it. Ooh, hello, mysterious green powder. And then it was just cumin. Which, before you say anything, yes, I know cumin isn't green. But, you know. It's one of the more fun names to say about things. In the world of spices. You're the best, squirrel. Okay, I've got a marionette. I've got that. I've got this. Okay. Huh. Okay, so I've got green pad, I've got a figurine, I've got a flight potion, I've got a gear, I've got essence leaves. What does that get me when I don't have anywhere I can click? Take a hint. Oh, I could have been doing alchemy this whole time. That's embarrassing. I honestly didn't notice that it was uh, shimmering. I feel like there could have been a more prominent audio cue. Give me a sense of that. Flight potion. You. Oh, is this how I turn into a bird? By making a flight potion and then a potion that can already make me fly. Oh. Huh? Okay. Oh, I thought I needed the alcohol, but I just needed the water. That's that's my bad. Damn you, Aqua Regia, for foiling me again. I don't know if that's how this works, but it did look good. All right, let's drink a potion. Turn into a bird, fly into that house. So I'm guessing he doesn't actually turn it. She doesn't actually turn into like huge birds, the way I assumed she had. She's actually shrinking while she looks at her arms and sees them turned into feathered arms. Uh, damn right I will. Okay. Where is the other? I've had it the whole time. <laughs> Alright, let's do it. And that is a picture of a mouse. A symbol representing mousehood, you say. Alright, what's going on here? Ugh. Oh! Oh! It already has water in it. I thought we were going to have to refill it at the pool in the other room, but no. Oh, yay, more symbols. Now, as I'll recall from last one of these, this can only be one per area you need to undo, and that's obviously not going to be the case this time. 
Although the images, uh, I gotta say, they're much more visible on this than they were on the last one, so I'm happy about that. Alright, so you, you. It did need the eye, so that's good. This is not a criticism, what I'm about to say. In fact, it kind of makes me happy. I feel like they keep using the same rune symbols over and over again in these uh, hidden object games. Really, that's not it. Oh, no, that's going the other way. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of these rune symbols are very familiar to me, which I'm kind of in favor of. Oh, hey, trivia question. Uh, for a brief period in the 1980s, uh, Action Star Chuck Norris made two horror movies where he fought a uh, Michael Myers-style supervillain. Can you name both of those movies? Uh, it, well, one wasn't sequel to the other. They were two wholly unrelated movies. What the hell? It was all a ruse! So this whole Ivy thing was a trick as I predicted. And because that's just how games work. Nice. Uh, yes, so they're not related films at all. They're two separate films. Okay, what do we got here? Ah, so this is all a trick by the witch. I mean, again, we, we all saw that coming, I think. Uh, so yeah, if um, you can name the two separate and unrelated movies where the plot of both was uh, it's a horror movie where Chuck Norris is up against a uh, weird a Michael Myers style murderer then just uh, Nate be the first commenter below this video to mention them boom, you win a prize that's right, Ivy was the witch the whole time so, uh, I guess just be super suspicious of witches or little girls named Ivy. Either way, uh, prejudice. Oh, look, we're going to go to an altar. Nice. Uh, what I guess I'm trying to say is prejudice against uh, people named Ivy are 100% justified. Awesome. I really thought we were going to have to do a spin the discs around thing, but no. And that's the second time we've been able to clear off a uh, cobweb without using it. Neat. Seems we're having a change in that. Two, three. They still have tails, though, so they're not the blind mice of legend. Okay. Find a collection of pass over all the slots. Small errors, not can half by the figure. Okay, so. Oh, I see. And so one, two, three, four. One, two. That doesn't get you anywhere. And so it has to end there. So, uh, one, two. One, two, three, one, two, one. One, two. I feel like that might be it. Decided to just go ahead and check. I was one off. I was one off. So awesome. This is a cute little puzzle. Yeah, no, the, the witch has pretended to be Ivy and kidnapped uh, I'm here. Gretel. It's the witch. She is back. I know. I'm working on it. Just give me a, you know, half a mo. I'm here. It's the witch. She is back. I don't know why you think that's helping. Alright, here we go. I've got the amulet. Which is here. I should have killed you, like, way back. Yay! 
it's the the sequence from um what do you call it? Boom! Dark City, I love these. Matching, matching. Don't even need instructions, that's how much I love these. Uh wait. Actually it might be this one. Yep. Take that, witch! Mythbuster. <laughs> oh. It's a cute name for an achievement. Is she dead this time? Yay! You guys just can't catch a break, can you? Evil stepmother, sorry, wicked stepmother, evil witch preying on you. It's just rough. Alright, uh, here are the credits. So, final thoughts. I liked it. I think Queen's Quest 2 is a really solid effort. Way better than Queen's Quest 1. Um, not a sequel at all, which I was surprised by, but I'm not hugely surprised by. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very impressed with how this game turned out. I think it's solid, and uh, I'd like to see more from this uh, series. I mean, yeah, it fits into Brave Giant's generic fantasy series quite well, but it does it quite well. Like, it did a really good job. Good puzzles. Great environments. Good, pu uh, solid puzzles. Face of No, we just played that. Um, great puzzles. You know, very, very accessible. Great hidden object scenes. Really attractive graphics. The fairy tale remix was fun and interesting. And, uh, yeah, transforming to go to completely new areas was a nice touch. So, yeah, 100% in favor of this one. Recommend the hell out of it, which is what I'm going to go do in my review just now. Anyway, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time, please like and subscribe. And if you need to make any questions or suggestions about uh, hidden object games or PSVR or things along those lines, you can find me at GC underscore Danny on Twitter. So, yeah, uh, I guess... Uh, that wraps up this game, so I will see you elsewhere on the channel, because I would, can't say playlist, because uh, this is the last game in the series. For now, I, I don't know if they're making more. Later. Au revoir.